Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I have my setup here for my very first pick a card reading and I have four decks for you to choose from. Now what I would recommend that you do for the pick a cards is to either go by your visual sight of which deck you want to choose or you may have a number that pops in your head for which deck to choose. I will put the timestamps at the end of the reading and um, this is really one of my favorite things to do and I hope you enjoy my very first pick a card reading. So I'm going to tell you the, the um, piles but first I want to once again announce my name is Transcendent. My name is Transcendent Kismet and this is my channel and um, you know we are all about healing we're all about positivity we're all about growth and I believe one of the most important things for growth is self-knowledge it's important to know thyself so I'm calling this to know thyself reading because part of healing is knowing who you are why you are and what your purpose is for being here. So it's important to know thyself. I do believe that everyone has their own guides and angels that are assigned to them and a lot of times ancestors as well. So I have also reached out to your guides and ancestors and angels with this reading for a fun reading because this one is um, kind of more fun you know these are cards that I wrote using my um, clairvoyance to just come up with qualities that are very important to know about yourself and so you know we're gonna just kind of go over it and I also mixed it with the Oracle cards from the energy energy Oracle cards deck and uh, traditional tarot so these are the piles. So this is pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. So I will have the timestamps at the bottom in the comment section. And the timestamps are going to be, you can press on the, the number next to the timestamps so you can go directly to the readings. You can fast forward past the intro if you want. Um, please, if you like the content, please like and subscribe. So let's begin. So I'm going to start with pile one. So I'm going to move the other piles down a little bit. This is, I believe this is an Amazonite stone. I got this in a bundle of raw tumbled stones. Um, it's a, kind of like a turquoise green, beautiful stone. I really love it. The energy is great. Um, I look at it as a combination of um, the throat chakra opening. So let's see what we have here for pile one. So pile one, we have the angel of love. We have door to personal healing and happiness. You see that? The angel of love card. And then for the tarot, the emperor. Okay, wow. So this is a... Pile ones kind of go with the numerology one. So I have here for pile ones, you guys love Christmas. You're very spiritual. You guys are leaders. Okay. Um, you are very strong. You guys are prophetic. Very honest. Sometimes quiet, quiet for the most part. So you guys are the quiet, strong type. You like the color purple. You guys are bold. You are, you guys have beautiful smiles. You have beautiful voices. You guys are caregivers. You guys are very health conscious. You guys are very daring, very smart. You have beautiful eyes. You guys are kind. You have a great profile, like to your face, your face profile, and you guys are go-getters. So this is like really powerful pile here. So having the emperor, the emperor is um, usually associated with the sign, zodiac sign of Aries. 
And as you know, Aries is considered a leader sign. They are a cardinal. Um, I just so happen to be an Aries. Um, they are a cardinal sign. It's um, they're leaders. They like to be pioneers, the first at things, bold, daring. All of those things go along with the number one as well, because the number one in numerology is um, all about you know the same thing. You know, being the the one to to trail a blade, to blaze a trail, to um, step forward. Purple is a color of majesty. It's a you know, your highest chakra color is the connection to source, connection to God, to spirit. Um, is a very spiritual color. Um, love Christmas. I mean, Christmas is your favorite holiday, so you must um, have a connection with Christ, um, you know, having as a healer. Uh, and he was a prophet as well. Um, and purple is also being such a spiritual color. You know, you guys are very prophetic. So you guys have a very strong um, sense of predicting how things are going to go. So because of that, that's what makes you really great leaders. Now, having these two energy cards, your energy being the door to personal healing and happiness and your energy being the angel of love, that says a lot about your energy. It means that you guys carry the energy of bringing healing and happiness um, because you guys are, are such great leaders and you're so honest. And, you know, you have all these beautiful features about you, great profile, beautiful eyes, great smile, beautiful voice. Um, people are inclined to follow you and you help open them up to, you know, healing and happiness, you know. So you guys are the kind of people that people love to have around. Um, you guys, you know, lead the pack, so to speak. You guys will make great, you know, um, bosses, obviously, great um leaders of your group, your friend group, whatever age you are. So um, that's all I have for pile one right now. But um, I hope that's helpful because that, that, that really says a lot. Let me see if I get any other messages from this. You guys are um, quiet, which is also goes along with purple because, you know, quiet may have to do with being meditative. You guys know how to meditate and um, take time to just listen to your own thoughts, you know, because you're strong and, and such leaders and know how to be daring and bold and go after what you want. Um, it means that you're good at listening to your inner voice. It means that you're good at um, making decisions and being kind is also great. It goes along with your loving hearts. You know, the fact that you have such a loving heart, and you guys are like angels of love. So means that you may, as a leader, take the lead in showing love and, and bringing love back into different situations where, you know, may people forget that love is the most important thing. Um, you're very smart and um, health conscious has a lot to do with the fact that, you know, as leaders, you know that a lot of people are counting on you. So you want to take care of yourself. Um, so that's just really beautiful. I love that. You guys are um, pretty amazing. So don't forget that about yourselves. All right, so that's it for pile one. And then Amazonite also, I do believe this is an Amazonite because it, it's such, it seems like um, it's not a, it's not really like a quartz type of, it's more like of a, you know, it's like an earthy stone. So it's more like Amazonite to me, which is kind of like a cousin to turquoise. So I know Amazonite is kind of just like the name sound, you know, think of an Amazon, you know, they're strong and... <laughs> Fearless, you know, Wonder Woman types, you know, whether you're male or female, this is, um, you know, not gender related or gender specific. So if you chose pile two, this is a little quartz, it's a little turtle with a quartz crystal on the back. So let's see what we have for pile two. Pile two we have for the energy oracles, we have contract. And if you look at the card, it reminds me of the justice card in the um, traditional tarot. So that reminds me of the sign of Libra. You see, she's holding the scales. She's blind and she's only going by, you know, the contract, the world, uh, which is amazing sign, amazing card. The world is about completing cycles. It's about, you know, just seeing the whole world, seeing the big picture and, and the, the impress. All right. So you guys are abundant, you are um, fertile, you are the all divine feminine 
you know, whether you're male or female, you, you are, you are the nurturing person. If you know about the Empress card, the Empress is, um, you know, she's shown here, she's pregnant. She's all about everything abundant, everything that is about fertility and abundance and more than enough and just just everything regal and beautiful and everything about the mother archetype the, the the truest sense of the word so let's see here now we have from my um intuitive deck we have that you're strategic you guys are reliable you guys are the counselor which goes along with the empress card because the empress is also um yeah you know she's a counselor she's She's going to give you the divine um, energy, receptive energy, receiving messages from source. Very intuitive. You guys are very intuitive. So you know how to tune into your intuition and to sense things and, and, and just kind of go along with your higher self's, uh, you know, what, what's whispering to you from your higher self. You guys are generous. Uh, you guys are witty and clever. So that's a lot of fun. Um, and you guys are also quiet, which means that you know how to meditate, obviously to tap into that ability to be very intuitive and to be such a great counselor, to offer counsel, which means that you guys are also, you know, because of the Empress card, you're nurturing. You're the one that people want to go to when they're going through something. They know that they can count on you to give good advice, that you're not going to judge. You're going to be um, someone that who's going to give them the truth, but at the same time, um, do so in a loving manner. Um, you guys love superhero movies. Your favorite color is blue. Um, you also like yellow. You guys like yellow. Um, you guys are positive. Um, very attractive, which doesn't surprise me because the Empress is all about everything that is beautiful. I mean, she is the ultimate queen. She is all queens in the deck. So she is every queen there is. She is just very attractive, beautiful in every sense of the word. You guys are creative. So this is our creative pile. Um, you guys are the creative type. Here's quiet again. So you are the quiet type. You guys are very quiet. You guys are naturally meditative. Um, you guys are visionaries. You guys can see a vision for something. And, you know, because you have the counseling ability and because you're intuitive, um, you'll be able to, um, with the strat, you know, with the strategy, you can take your plans and almost like, like clockwork plan out, uh, something and have it play out beautifully because of your intuition and your sense of strategy. Um, you guys are a fire starter. So you guys are the whistleblowers. You guys are the ones who, um, you know, you set things in motion. You know, once you speak and, you know, you've made a decision on something, you are the one that's going to put a fire under whatever the situation is. Um, but you also have a tendency to be workaholics. So you got to know when to pull back and take your quiet time and, you know, tune into your intuition and, you know, take care of yourselves. You guys are also leaders because you guys are, you know, visionary and strategic and intuitive. You guys also are great leaders, but you do so more from the sense of, um, a nurturing sense. You guys are more in terms of, um, yeah, you guys have the world card here. So you, your fire starters, you guys are going to bring, um, a completion. You're going to make sure things, you know, get settled and done. Uh, you guys don't like lead to leave loose ends. So, um, and with contract here, which is basically like the justice card, uh, you, you're going to bring balance to a situation. You're going to basically bring the karma to the situation and make sure that things um, close out fairly in the way that they should be done properly and where things are a win-win situation. You're also very creative and you guys love history. So this is, this is pretty cool and interesting because that lets me know that along with your um, intuition, you guys are able to, you know, like they say, you can't learn your future unless you understand your past. So, um, so that's a pretty good, that's really good to know about yourself. Um, the Empress is a good card. Just always remember that you guys are the ultimate divine. Um, we all have male and female energy within us. So you guys are the ultimate um, with your leading energy is a feminine energy. 
uh, whether you're male or female. And um, it's all about justice with you guys. It's all about fairness, win-win. You bring completion to things. So that's what I have for pile two. Um, and the turtle says a lot too because the turtle is, is very old and, you know, and they have a, a sense of quietness about them too. So it makes sense you got quiet twice because turtles are quiet, but they're also, you know, survivors and they are very strong creatures, even though they're these quiet, gentle, um, beings. So, so that's what I have for pile two. So let's get to pile three. This is kind of like a, just a quartz crystal. Um, I want to say it's a rose quartz. It, it looks a little bit pink. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but this is an amplifying quartz type of a stone. So let's see what this says here about you guys. So the energy. Okay, so you have the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. Okay, so that is um, also dealing with that crown chakra. You know, you see she's got these beautiful purple wings, this beautiful purple color here. Uh, on the card, she's with the crown. You see, she's wearing a beautiful crown. And Uriel, if you want to do a little bit, dig a little bit deeper, you can look into Uriel and see what gifts she gives you in terms of being a guide on your path. Um, a man holding a heart. So this is usually, to me, this tells me that you are the type of person that you know kind of wears your heart on your sleeve. You are a heartfelt person. You are someone who leads with your heart. Your heart chakra is probably very dominant very open which is beautiful because you know it's difficult to live in a world having an open heart chakra and then you have the high priestess so you are definitely definitely tuned in with Archangel Uriel uh, which is pretty powerful because um, the high priestess is all about balancing that yin and yang energy the high priestess is all about um, just you know the deeper meaning of things, the higher self, the um, the balance of light and dark all throughout history and time. Um, the High Priestess is all about um, holding those eternal secrets, divine wisdom. Um, she is the priestess. She is a teacher. You are. You guys are teachers. You have deep, deep spiritual knowledge. You guys have no doubt studied a lot of spiritual, maybe esoteric, you are some type of a spiritual teacher. Um, that is your natural gift. It's natural to you. Um, you probably have a very old soul. Um, you guys are sexy. Okay. You guys are empaths, um, which is important to ground yourself. Um, I'm an empath too. And it's important to ground yourself daily so that you can decipher your own energy from anyone else's. Um, you guys are magical, which is not surprising. Having the high priestess, you have all this deep spiritual wisdom inside of you. So um, you guys are strong. You have to be strong to, you know, to have the level of, of wisdom that you have and to lead with your heart the way that you do. You guys love metaphysics, of course, with the high priestess that goes hand in hand. You guys are very stylish. You guys are the style divas here. I love it. Um, got to have that little flair, that sense of style about you. You guys are the artists. So yeah, you probably are very good at putting outfits together, putting things, ideas together and with an artistic flair. You guys are into aliens. Um, hello. I love you guys already because I am too. Um, you guys are also very smart, obviously. If you're loving metaphysics and you're into aliens, it means you like to use both sides of your brain and with the high priestess and balancing the yin and yang, you definitely do like to use both sides of your brain. You guys have beautiful skin. Um, you guys got empath twice, so you're very empathetic. And having such an open heart, my guidance would be to make sure that, once again, you ground yourself daily. Spend time in nature. Take time to, to spend alone every day so you can tune into your deep inner wisdom. You can connect with your, your, um, your guides and, um, you know, not lose yourself in your teachings and, in you know, whatever you're leading, um, the people around you, uh, because it's, if you're so empathic, you can be too open sometimes. So make sure you're grounding yourself. Um, you can also do some research on grounding yourself. Um, you guys are very attractive. 
um, you guys are very centered, which, you know, centered, you're grounded, you, you don't lose balance, you, you keep your balance at all times. Um, you guys are destined for fame. You guys are destined to be famous. So um, in some in some way, you're you guys have um, a very, very, very well, deep well of spiritual knowledge that is going to um, bring you a lot of attention. Um, you're also very charming. So that helps everything else along. The fact that you're so open hearted and charming, you're going to attract a lot of people. So that's why it's very important that you ground yourself and work with your, your angels, with God, with spirit to be protective of your heart. Um, even though you're such an open hearted person and your, your heart chakra is so, you know, open and you teach from that place of, of having a center and, 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 and for having an open heart, you have to be careful to, um, that once again, to ground yourself, you guys are funny and jovial. So not only are you charming and funny, but, um, you guys are very attractive. So yeah, you're going to attract a lot of, you probably attract a lot of attention and sexy. Yeah. So make sure you're tuning into your intuition. Um, I don't know if anyone is, you know, just, throughout life, make sure you're tuning into your inner intuition and not opening your heart too much. Um, cause if such an, you already have such an old soul, you don't need to learn too many more lessons. Um, but you can still, um, open your heart without opening it up to everyone. Make sure you're setting boundaries. You guys are dreamers. You guys also love technology, um, and politics and you guys are star seeds. So, you know, I don't know if you know anything about star seeds, but star seeds are, you know, resonating with, um, that's why you're into aliens because you feel like you have come from another planet. I resonated as a star seed. Um, I feel like, you know, based on some experiences that I've had that you're from another planet. Originally you have origins from, you know, just basically the eternal, sense of the galaxy. You have galaxy knowledge inside of you, which is pretty phenomenal. So it is important that you do continue to do your studies. You do dig deep into your metaphysical learnings and leanings um, so that you can teach. You know, you, you have people who are eager to learn from you. So make sure that um, you protect yourself and ground yourself um, so that you're, you know, you're not losing yourself as an empath with, um, with the people that you are destined to teach. So that's all I have for power three. Um, and now I have power four. So power four is this beautiful purple aura crystal. Um, just beautiful. I just, I love this crystal so much. So I'm going to put the crystal here next to this turquoise one here. Um, and I feel called to do that. And I'm such a weirdo. I'm thinking that maybe I'm doing that because this pile probably has a twin flame or a partner that's uh, very important to your life, uh, whether you have met them yet or, or soon to meet them. Um, I just felt the call to put these two together. So, all right. So for the energy, I have woman holding a heart. So you guys are also very heart centered. Um, in terms of feminine energy, because once again, you have yin and yang energy. So you have the feminine energy woman holding a heart and you have man holding a coin. So you have the, the masculine energy in terms of, um, I view this as pentacles. So this is kind of, to me, like a king of pentacles type of energy, um, all about family, all about creating wealth and stability and success. So balancing that with, you know, love and the emotions and, you know, I view this as the queen of cups. Um, it's all about balancing those two things. And from the tarot, you have the ace of swords. The ace of swords is um, the beginning of a victory. You guys start the, um, you start, you usually will raise your sword. Swords represent thoughts. So you guys probably have a lot of great ideas. Um, you guys probably are the innovators and you come up with innovative ideas. Um, so here it says you guys are loyal and faithful. Okay. Um, you're very athletic. All right. Um, now here you guys are teachers. You guys are destined to teach. So you have a natural ability 
to instruct, to teach, whether it's in a classroom or whether it's in an office or whether it's in a yoga studio, whatever topic you decide to teach, it is your natural ability to be a teacher, which is a gift, I feel. Um, you guys are trendsetters. People follow after you. People just naturally, you know, you set trends. You you decide to wear a red hat. And next thing you know, everybody's wearing a red hat. You know, you decide to, you know, put on a, a construction boot. Next thing you know, everybody's wearing a construction boot. You're a trendsetter. People naturally follow your style. You're not just your style, but also like if you come up with an idea, you know, having the ace of swords, you come up with an idea, you know, people naturally, you set a trend. It becomes like the next thing people do. So if you are, you know, saying, hey, I'm going to start using this word or I'm going to start um, doing pick a cards or what have you, you know, next thing you know, it's a trend um, because you guys are trendsetters. You're extremely intelligent, obviously, with the, the swords energy. You're very intelligent. Um, you love the occult. So you guys are not just into metaphysics. You like to dig deeper. You like to know you're probably into some of the darker um, parts of, um, esoteric knowledge, you know, you guys are, you know, not afraid to look into spell work and, you know, dig into, um, things that a lot of people don't want to talk about. You guys are fascinated by that. So, um, you guys are dutiful. You carry out your duties. You are people who handle what needs to be done. You, you're, a step beyond reliable because you it's a duty to you. You are going to make sure it gets carried out and done to completion. You are an empath and you love the color orange. So um, your sacral chakra is very active um, and, and you can listen to your sacral chakra for your empath. You usually pick up energy through your sacral chakra as an empath. So if you're tuning into that area, you get stomach issues or um, gassy stomach and stuff like that. Pay attention to that because that's your empathetic um, muscles flexing. You guys are very smart, obviously. If you're intelligent, you're you're very smart and intelligent. You also like the color red. And you guys have beautiful eyes. Um, you guys are curvy. Your shape is like you guys are naturally curvy. You have beautiful curves. Um, wh whether you're male or female, you know, you just have a, a natural curvy appeal to you. Um, you guys are into justice. You're very fair minded. You um, like things to be fair and balanced. You think you, you're a very big, strong advocate for things being just and fair. So very similar to pile two. Um, you, you like things to um, be fair at all times. Uh, you're multi-talented. You have so many talents. Like it's, ridiculous. You can probably, you know, dance and sing and play the drums and bake and cook. And you just, you guys have a lot of talents. Uh, you can probably, you know, paint and draw. And I mean, you know, you guys are multi-talented. You don't just have one talent. You are talented in many things. Um, you guys are peaceful. You like things to be peaceful. You don't like chaos, which goes back to your sense of fairness. You like things to be just peaceful, balanced, fair. Um, you're very old souls. You guys have been here before many, many, many times. So you have a lot also in common with, um, pile three because you guys have a very old soul. Um, you, you've been here a long time. <laughs> so, um, you guys love science too. You love to learn about, you know, physics and biology and the earth science and just, you know, all of that stuff. So you guys are um, using your intelligence to, to learn about science as well. You guys are very generous. You love to give. You love to give your time. You love to give resources. You probably love to give food. You probably love to give hugs. You probably love to give uh, kisses. You guys are very um, generous. You're generous with your time, your energy, your, your advice. Um, so you're, because you're so loyal and faithful, you know, your friends love you, your, your, um, family loves you because you, you're generous. You give them your time, you give them your energy, you give them, you know, money. If you have it, you give them, um, you know, a place to stay, you know, you're just a generous, generous, dutiful person that people can rely on and you're loyal and faithful. And you're like that rock that people can count on. You're also very laid back. This is probably, this is like a lot of Taurus energy I'm, I'm feeling. Um, especially with the pinnacles here, you guys like stability. 
holding a coin. Like you don't play about your money. Okay. <laughs> you do not play about your money and you know, you are open hearted. You, you know, you're very open hearted. And, and as an empath, you are, um, very open hearted. You can pick up on energy, you know, when, um, you know, when something is not right, but then you also are able to, to tune in and know which energy is yours or not. So yeah, so you're laid back and you're reliable. And, um, let me see if I get any other messages for you guys. You guys are a trendsetter. So, you know, you have, you use your intelligence to, you know, come up with ideas and to teach, you know, that's your, that's one of your, um, your gifts, you know, you set trends as a teacher too. So, um, you are a leader in that sense because then people will follow along with, um, whatever, you know, idea you come up with that is going to be beneficial. Um, especially you're courageous if you're able to dig into the occult because, you know, a lot of people attach stigma to things and then they're afraid to study things, um, that you could learn a lot from. So at the end of the day, you know, it takes a lot of courage to do that as well. Um, you guys, um, have beautiful eyes too. This is something that a lot of people say about you. Um, you know, you like the color red and orange, you know? So, so yeah, so that's all I have for pile four for right now. Um, but thank you guys once again for tuning in and I hope that this was helpful for you. I hope you were able to learn a little bit about what your guides are saying about you. And um, maybe you can look a little bit more into any of the other topics. If you like the content, if you like my pick of cards, I do have some other ones planned. Um, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button.